What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and today we're going to be watching another Death Battle preview. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to do more previews or not, because they're not the full episodes or whatever. But since the next fight is Sora vs. Pit, and I know both these characters very well, I figured why not. Um, I have a prediction video on who I think would win, so if you want to go see why I think uh, a certain character will win, go check that out. But long story short, I think Sora's going to win. Let's check out this preview, the Sora preview. Here we go. Three, two, one, now. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a small child well, this music. named Sora. And he lived on the one and only Destiny Island. Sora this music is so nice. Kairi grew up honing their athletic Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura. The, the loud protagonist, the emo betrayer, and the useless girl. Like most yep. residents of Destiny Island, they lost their home to a sinister force. I see no difference between Sora's friends and Naruto. Long until this soulless embodiment of evil would invade the island. But the heartless. The creepy crawlers wasn't the only surprise. Alongside the darkness came light in the form of a keyblade, which is the key to fixing everything. Super subtle. This keyblade in particular was known as the Kingdom Key, mm -hmm. and was drawn to Sora thanks to his pure heart. Actually, it was meant for Riku, but since he gave into the darkness, it went to Sora instead. So, bam. Yes, the keyblade can get past almost any lock out there, but despite not having a long, sharp edge, it's a surprisingly deadly sword. There's actually surprisingly a lot of stuff you can't unlock in Kingdom Hearts without completing parts of the story. So the keyblade is useless. He can even shoot a laser beam all the way to the moon. Unfortunately, despite his newfound That was like light speed, I think, actually. The darkness washed over Destiny Island, and just like that, it was gone. Bye-bye! But thanks to cosmic reasons, Sora wound up face-to-face -face with Goofy and Donald This Duck. music! Yep. They're really Ended stepping up it up with the, the music in these Death Battle previews. Disney. If you're confused, don't worry. You are not hallucinating. <laughs> Somehow, in some way, this impossibility I expected exists. that kind of reaction about Turns Disney cross out, Final Goofy Fantasy. And Donald have been lovable cartoons for decades, they're also world hopping warriors. Yep. Oh my god. And Goofy dies in Kingdom Hearts 2. On, Sora teamed up with his new friends to lock the doors to the hearts of worlds, saving them from the heartless grip. And he wasn't even old enough to get a driver's license. <laughs> Seeing Sora's crazy adventures reminds me that I need to go on my own adventure. You know, off to the fridge for another beer. Uh, I should just install a fridge here so you can stop walking. Does off he the fly to get his beer? Oh, What's with this clip? Ago, but I already cleaned it out this morning. Apparently. Okay, well, come back next week as we cover Sora's high flying opponent, Pit from Pit. Arm Pit. So yeah, that was an entertaining preview. Not as um, good as the Crash and Spyro previews, I'd say, because they mainly just made a bunch of "Whoa, it's Disney and Final Fantasy" jokes in. Uh, didn't really cover much stuff. Basically, ran over the general plot. I don't know what I'm getting at here. It was a preview. A preview did the preview's job. Um, but anyways, join me next week for Pitt's preview and Leopold the Brave out. That's the end. Okay, click, click, click the thing. Click the thing.